and welcome to the Emporium, my name is Michael. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I dabble with leatherworking. I like to put some sort of stamp just to add some decoration to some of my creations. However, the stamps can be expensive and I really want to have a, something unique, something custom for me. They are expensive, but you can have them made. So what I want to do is make my own custom stamp. I started off with a picture of Esme that I liked. I converted it to grayscale and then just to black and white. And from there I managed to extract a vector drawing, which I then brought into Fusion 360 and produced a 3D stamp. So next I chose a piece of 11 ounce veg tan leather. I wanted to choose a piece of leather that was aged. I didn't want something that looked brand new. I wanted to make it look a little bit lived in. Then all I did was trim it to size, slightly bigger than the stamp. Next, I wash the leather and soak it in warm water to soften it. Having it pliable makes the stamp work so much more easily. Next, I place the stamp on the leather and then sandwich the whole thing between two small pieces of hardwood. I then place these in my vise and give it a good tighten up. Now I left it there for maybe three or four minutes just to allow the stamp to leave a good impression. So as you can see, not, not too bad. So I trim up the piece of leather just to make it nice and square and just round the corners off. Next I want to attach a little piece of Velcro. So the Velcro does have some adhesive, but just in case I put some super glue on the back just to make sure that it's not going to come off anytime soon. I would have preferred to use some fabric adhesive, but I just couldn't get my hands on any in time. And there you have it, the finished article. So this is more of a proof of concept. I'd like to make some different types of stamps, but this kind of proves to me that it will work and it's pretty quick and easy, as long as you obviously have a 3D printer. So until next time, take care. And as always, thank you very much for watching. If you like my videos, leave me a comment, maybe a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe.